Hey guys, welcome to Team Caster Universe Real Talk. Today we're going to be talking about what's going on in here. Fire when the strong hits you. That's it, Brian? I don't know if you guys have been following my journey or not, but I want to give you guys kind of an overview of kind of what's been going on with myself and, and my body wise and things that I've kind of learned along the way and some of my health issues that I may or may not be uh, dealing with or things that I need to be working on. So kind of back up about a year ago, I used to weigh about 340 pounds. Now that didn't feel like it at the time. I my weight was dispersed through my body really well, so I didn't feel like I was carrying around that weight, but it definitely took a toll on me. I had low energy levels. I wasn't excited to go to work or go out with friends or do activities or anything like that. Um, so I had to make a decision and I got serious, like I said, about a year ago. And I got a personal trainer. I've been training three times a week with him. And then I also go to the gym about another three to two times a week, depending on my schedule. But it's been, a, it's been a tough journey. And, and a big thing I've learned is nutrition is a huge part of it. So that's one thing I've been focusing on and the rest of Team Castro has been helping me with is prepping food and, and getting those things in order so that I have the most success because we all know how easy it is to just stop on the way home and have any sort of fast food option. I was just saying the other night when I was leaving an appointment is, man, it smells really good out there. When you're hungry, the smell will bring you in really fast. So the year's been tough, but it's been the most amazing journey. And I, I want to thank everybody who's helped me along that and helped me document it and share with you guys how my experience has gone. So things I've really been focusing on is activity level, nutrition, and then my overall health because when you go from 340 pounds to now under 260, so that's more than 80 pounds lost. I wanted to make sure that I was as healthy as I could be and if there was anything I needed to adjust in this moment that I could do that. I haven't had any really overall checkups in, in a long time, probably in the last like eight years. So I wanted to do an overall checkup. So what I did was, and some of you have seen this, was I went to the doctor and I got a facial scan because my uh, mom, who had some blockages in her nasal passages, was having a hard time to breathe. So I wanted to make sure that it was not passed down to me as well. Also, my father had some serious heart issues. Uh, he struggled with diabetes as well. So things that were kind of weighing on my mind and were a little bit stressful, and I wanted to make sure that I was as healthy as I could be. So we got face scan, I got a chest scan to make sure my heart as well was good. I got an ECG done, and I also got a full blood work done as well. So they took something like four vials of blood. It was <laughs> it was quite interesting, and then I got a full physical as well from the doctor. So that was about a, a week, week and a half ago now, and uh, yeah. The results are in. So I'm gonna go through these and just kind of tell you guys how the results came from somebody who was 340 pounds to now 260, sub 260 pounds. First, the physical went really well. Doctor said there was nothing to be worried about there, so I passed that one with flying colors. The next thing they did was they scanned my chest. My dad has a weak valve that's hereditary, so I wanted to make sure that my heart wasn't compromised and what we found was it was clean. So that was great. I definitely was nervous about that one more than anything. And then the nasal passage x-ray they did, there was no blockages or no abnormalities there. So those came back really clean, which was really nice. Next, they did the ECG. So they put a bunch of pads all over me to check my heartbeat again, to make sure that my heart wasn't beating irregularly. And this is what it looks like. So they check all your heart patterns and things like that uh, to make sure that they're good. And the doctor said that it's totally normal at this point, so nothing to worry about. So another check off the list there. I'm pretty excited about that. And then the blood work was, came back, which was really interesting as well. One thing I was nervous about was the diabetes side of things that, you know, having bad nutritional decisions was something I was nervous if it had affected me. I'm about 28 years old and I've been struggling with my weight pretty much my whole life and eating habits wasn't the top of those things. So blood work came back, everything was good, except for a couple of things. So first thing was my C-reactive protein. And what that really means is there's some sort of inflammation in my body. Now it could be attributed to a few things. I am training really hard right now, so my muscles are getting strained. 
and they can inflame obviously from being stressed out or some sort of infection. So that's something we need to really watch for. Also diet. Again, I was eating a lot of protein, high fat things as well, like avocados and stuff like that. So I have to slightly adjust my diet again, which is good to know. I was eating healthy, but there's always ways you can adjust it. So instead of my eggs and avocado in the morning, like I normally do, I'm gonna switch to more of an, an oatmeal, maybe a little bit of fruit, longer lasting carbs so that my body doesn't get spikes or anything like that. So for now, that's something we're gonna watch and see how that goes. Lastly, my uric acid is high. Now, uric acid comes mostly from, again, your muscles secrete it when you, if you tear your muscles and they need to repair, uric acid releases into the body. I'm not by any means a doctor or anything like that, but essentially it's a high uric acid in the blood or in my body. And I'm a little bit high. So the average male range is between 180 and 500 and I'm 591 right now. So pretty high. Something the doctor also mentioned to me as well is when you have a lot of excess fat, your sicknesses and your all those things that happen to you over time get stored into your fat as well. So when you burn those fat um, kind of packages up, those things get released into your body, which is kind of crazy. I heard a story of a guy who was even heavier than I am, and he went all the way down to, uh, I think in the mid 200s, and he got really sick just from that issue alone. So things for this, I'm gonna be taking a natural supplement as well to help pull that uric acid on my body and uh, help me normalize that as well. My mom had the same issue, so we've been working on that. She lowered hers about 90 to 100 points, so that's my goal for that. Lastly, I just wanna say there's a lot more to come, especially in the Team Caster universe and all the videos that we have been posting lately. I'm really excited about it. We're gonna be doing a full body review of what this body looks like after losing 100, 90, 100 pounds and I wanna to be totally transparent with all you guys out there because some of you guys are going through the same journey I am or you've been thinking about it and don't quite know what it's gonna be like or what it feels like. So for me to show that to you guys is a privilege and something that I want to share and not keep to myself. So thank you guys so much for joining me on this uh, real talk about who I am and what my body's been going through and I look forward to sharing more with you guys. So thank you.